Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And if we hear very carefully, we can hear Yetta sing a tune while thinking of stuff to add to his soup. Mmm, smells good, huh? Why feel better when she drink this? Oh, I guess he doesn't want anything else in there. Wait, is is that Yeto or Yetta? I don't know. Anyway, today we're going to go on ahead and get through the rest of the dungeon and ultimately get the next piece of the mirror. So, let's see where we can go next. I think I remember, uh? We put key in nearby room, so don't so no forgetting, uh? How long I forget? Embarrassing, uh? See here, symbol place marked by symbol, uh? All right, well, it's on the third. It's on the second floor, so we gotta find a way to get there. It there. It must be. Uh, you look for me. Uh, okay. Well, thank you for opening the door. Uh, we're also gonna do some exploring in this place a little bit because there's some rooms that we could have checked earlier, but ultimately didn't. And let's go on ahead and equip this and that. All right, ready to go. Oh, dang it. They're too fast for me. But if they're coming at you, you can just use this uh, and uh, you can get them in one hit. Like that. Because technically they are creatures of ice. And the nice thing about the ball and chain is you can get things on the uh, return. So if you don't get them when you throw it initially, you can just throw, you can just uh, retrieve it and it'll hit them when it comes back. Now this room we could have gotten into earlier and this room would have actually shown off how the cannon works if you didn't figure it out already. And really there's only a couple treasure chests in here that don't uh, really contribute anything to the progress of the dungeon. There we are. Let's just go on ahead and break through here quickly. Oh look, it's another uh, couple of enemies. There we are, they're all gone. And I think the compass might actually be in here. There we go. Uh, nope. I was wrong. But there are a couple chests in here. Uh, one carries bombs. Of which we will need a lot. And the other treasure chest is over here. And here's the, uh, thing that shows us how to use the cannon. Cannon manual. Insert. Iron. Continue. Put in. Explosion. Launch. Obviously some of it's illegible, but it gets the point across. You put a you put a boom boom inside a cannon, you put an explosion inside a cannon, and boom. You break stuff. Hey, a Rupal. Alright. Alright. Let us continue. Inside we go. Ah, yes, this room. This room contain, contains the compass. And if you didn't have the ball and chain before, you can just use the uh, claw shot to push these guys back. Ah, I got frozen. Luckily, the superb soup will fix everything. Oh, nice. You can play, basically play billiards with these guys in this room. Oh, God, don't. There we go. Beautiful. And that instantly smashes things, so... Yay. That was unintentional, but yay. I think there's a rupee inside this one? Oh. I would have preferred a rupee, but okay, at least it's out of the way. And yeah, here's the compass. So yeah, if you explore this place before getting the ball chain, you actually get the compass before getting the dungeon item. But at this point, it's kind of useless, so yeah. Not really enthused. 
this is one of those cases where the compass can be either useful or not useful, depending on when you get it. And in this case, it's not useful. And unfortunately, that's all we can do in that room for right now. So let's go back into the main courtyard and see where else we can go. Oh yeah, and if you look at the map, it actually shows you the locations of the various cannonballs that are used in this dungeon. Nice. Oh, uh, for a second I thought that wasn't gonna hit him. All right, that thing's permanently gone. Uh, there's a room down this way we can go into, I think. Uh, no, it's blocked off. All right, let's go on ahead and go into the room that was revealed when we talked to the Yeti wife. But first, first let me uh, break through these ice blocks so we can free up the courtyard and go freely in between both sides. Sheesh, I need to remember to finish my thoughts or just have thoughts in general. All right, that's open enough, let's go. All right, into the room that she opened for us. Oh, look at this. Another cannon room. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I know what to do. First, let's go on ahead and set this into position, if we can actually hang off of it properly. There we are. And now we can access this room from the other side. Because we're going to need to bring a cannonball into this room. Let's place that. Go on ahead and transfer it over into this room, and then we're going to go on ahead and continue up. Cannonball is here whenever I'm ready for it. And I will be ready for it in a couple seconds. There we go. If you'll notice that we have these guys firing ice breath in a sweeping motion, preventing us from going forward. But if we do this, we can uh, stop them from doing that. Also, uh, we can do that. Uh, we can't get in there, but yeah, they're all gone. Just felt like it, getting rid of them because I don't want to constantly hear the enemy nearby sound if there are no enemies I can be harmed by. Oh God. We are. And babushka. Oh, that's not all of them. Yeah, sure. There's two of them. And I think I'll just blow this one up. There we are. All gone. And should be a couple enemies in here. Yep. And they're just ice keys, so I can just bla I can just slash them with my sword. Alright. Oh uh, yeah. Uh this is a weird looking floor. Let's see if we can break it. There we are. All right, let's hop down and we're on the other side of this room here, which is connected to the main entrance, the main foyer. Ah, a piece of heart, cool. If we came in here from the other side, we would have figured out we would have been able to get in here some other way later on. So yeah. Oh, I need a key. Well. I gotta go find a key then. Should be one over here. Map says there's a treasure chest in here, so I guess it's not completely useless at this point. Oh, hey, it's one of these guys. Okay, doesn't like that. There we go. Instantly dies to the ball and chain. Also, uh, we're introduced to another main mechanic of this dungeon, and it's these uh, hanging chandelier-like things. If you hit them with the ball and chain, you can actually move them. And that'll allow you to cross in various places. There we are. There's also a couple of these in the main foyer, so we're gonna be going back to the entrance here in a little bit. Ow! Don't try to hit those things with the ball and chain. 
I don't think I can reach that claw shop point from here, so I'm gonna go on ahead and just do this. And get it while I'm hanging. And for some reason, I can go through the metal beams that are supporting the chandelier. How odd. You can also break wooden barrels and apparently furniture. Didn't mean to do that. That's a nice looking chair. Why would I do that? All right, we got a we got a yellow rupee from there, and now we can go into this room. Oh, it's the main foyer. So yeah, we're gonna be going in here. We're gonna break this ice so we can get up here if we're on the first floor. And you can just break things by just doing that, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, come on, where are ya? Okay, what just happened? I, I, I didn't, I didn't hallucinate, did I? He just, he just moonwalked to the side and fell off and died on that picture of Queen Rutella. My god, I'm finding so many glitches in this game unintentionally. What the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, apparently I can't hit those. Cool. Maybe I can hit them with this. Yeah, okay. Well. I'm just gonna come in here and get what I came, what I mean to get, and then just move on. My god, what the hell? I think that's like the fourth time I've encountered a glitch without intending. There are glitches you can do intentionally, but I don't know. All right, I think I can get this guy. All right, this one might take me a little while to get because in practice it took me a good few minutes because I couldn't just get the timing right for when to hit that with the ball and chain. All right, and oddly enough, I get it on the first try. And what's in the chest? Why, it's a piece of heart. So that's all the pieces of heart for this dungeon. Not gonna worry about them now. And there's a couple of chests behind some of these uh, suits of armor, so I'm just gonna go ahead and break them. Nice. We got 10 ruples, and I think there might be a stamp in the other one. Let me go on ahead and find out. There we go. Yep, it's the other stamp for the dungeon, and it's Q for... Quold? I don't know. I am, we got some chews in this dungeon. They're just purple. There's a purple and I think a yellow one, so... If you want a dubious soup and a lantern refill, I guess go on ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna go in and try to get the real prize which is access to the room that I need to shoot the cannon in. Oh yeah, we got these guys. Oh wait, let me go on ahead and do this. All right. Nice. There's those three, and I think I'll just go on ahead and finish this one off with the ball and chain. There we go, got him, cool. Oh, and we got a Poe in this uh, little alcove. Might as well take him out, just so I don't get annoyed by that sound constantly. Gotcha. Get it? And let's go on ahead and take out those keys before they freeze me. There we are. And there's the other one. And we're done. That, that's really all there is to this room, so... Oh, we need a key to get in there, so let's come back here later. Alright, we're on the other side of... We're over here in this... Oh, okay, yeah, I know what to do now. Because, you see, we're gonna have to do this puzzle all over again, except we have three. 
to do it with. Break that. Let's go on ahead and break the ice block over this. And this might take me a couple minutes because this one's actually a little more complicated. All right, uh, I think I have the solution. Alright, this push should do the trick. Aha! Door open! And now to go on ahead and set the other switch back up. This one's luckily a lot more simpler. And no, I was not talking at all during all of that pushing, so... Yeah, there's just gonna be a lot of dead air or I can just fast forward through the entire thing in editing. Alright. Both doors are open, and we can safely head back up and into the next door. After I climb my way back up. At least I don't have to go all the way around again to get up here. Comparatively, that's a, definitely a shorter amount of time unless I fall off like an idiot. There we are. Okay. Made it. Now I can go into this room. And, oh my. Uh, ooh. Hello. Kills you instantly. Alright, they've attacked. They have a little bit of downtime. I can just go and do that. Alright. Should be an anchor point. Yep, there we go. I was right. There is an anchor point. Aha! All right, now we're over on this side and we can go into this room. And what's in here, I wonder? Why, it's uh, another second floor of a first floor we've been in before. Let's get this anchor point set up. There we go. Oh God, I didn't want to do that. Let's uh do this instead. And you know, get absolutely nothing for it. Oh, uh. Right, I gotta do this. There we go. Wait for it to swing back. Boop. All right. Hopefully this uh, contains a key that we can use. There we are. Open chest. Get prize. It's a small key. Will only work in this area, don't you know? And where does this, where does this sex, uh, push us out of? Uh, oh, over here. Cool. All right, now I gotta get back into the room with the cannon in it. Uh, shoot. Yeah, this way. Definitely this way. Oh God, let's avoid everything. I don't wanna be frozen to death. Now, after all that, we have a key we can use to get inside here. All right. Oh, God, we've got a couple of these frozen monstrosities. And naturally, I can't reach it. You have to do it quickly or else you will get frozen. Uh, get those guys. Let's go on end ball and chain this one then. Oh, I broke another chair. Oh well. Break this one real quick. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know you could uh, hit those metal blocks with the ball and chain. All right, cool. I might have been able to do that instead of uh, push them. We got the way we need to shoot open, so let's go on ahead and bring the cannonball up, move the cannon, and shoot it. 
Sorry, I was looking at the gamepad, changing where everything was going. Alright. Alright. Load it in. Let's move this thing. Alright, load the cannon. Cutscene. And it shoots the cannonball all the way over there. Because believe it or not, it's impossible for us to climb up here while holding a cannonball. Alright, let's get this thing in. See what's on the other side. Because whatever's on the other side needs a cannonball. Oh, it's uh, the second floor of the courtyard. All right, we can get up here now without having to go all the way around, so that's cool. And there's nothing over there we can hit, but there is something behind us that we can hit with the cannon. And we'll need to hit it to be able to access the room that has the key in it. And this time it actually is the key. All right, so I need to grab the cannonball and then fire a cannon. All right, there we are. I remember to actually put it in here, I'm surprised. In you go. And now let's blow up an ice demon. There we are. And it leaves those little things behind. All right. Let's go down and get the key. And then head into the bedroom and get the mirror after fighting a boss, I guess. Oh god. <laughs> I think I just dropped one down. Yeah, I made one fall. Alright. There we go. In we go. And what's in here, I wonder? Oh. It's a sealed room. And it's a normal treasure chest. Oh, is this like a Congre is this a church? I did I come in on a service that's just started? Let me go on ahead and... Eh, time to be sacrilegious and just break the furniture. Or, you know, have that happen. There's two of those. There we go. Instantly kill that one. There's a few more in this area, so... Don't get your hopes up. We still have more to take out. Aha! You know, ones that fall directly on us. We're definitely going to be taking some damage in this place. Ow! Yeah, these guys are kind of dicks. They have a v they are very very aggressive and will barely give you a chance to get them. There we go. Yeah, basically use the cover to your advantage. There we go. I think that's all of them? I hope? Yeah, that's all of them. Got them. And now we can claim our prize of... Please be a key, please be a key, please be a key. Yes, it's the bedroom key. And this is another dungeon where it doesn't have a traditional boss key design. Phew, we finally found the key. That sure took a while, but that mirror shard is as good as ours. All right, let's go on ahead and head up to the bedroom finally. Oh boy, all of that looking around just for a single key. Oh, hello. Oh, you safe, huh? I drink husband's soup, feel much better, uh, so I come to find you. You found key, uh, good, good. Bedroom right above us, I take you there, huh? Okay, uh, you, can't you walk any, you know what? I'll meet you up there. Also, I'm gonna drink a bottle of soup before I go in there because I have a feeling something in there is gonna really hurt us. Ah. <sighs> 
All right, let's equip the ball and chain again, and the claw shot, you know, just in case. Because, for all intents and purposes, the claw shot has been very, very useful against some of the enemies here. Oh, here you are. You managed to walk fairly fast, or I took a long-ass time trying to equip stuff. Anyway. Thank you. You come inside. Uh, okay. Please, this way, uh. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice bedroom. Bed seems kind of small considering you and the husband are pretty large. Here, mirror, you look at it, uh. Uh, so pretty. Pretty. Uh, so pretty. Uh-oh. Um... Pretty, pretty, mirror, lovely. Uh, y you okay? D do you need some more soup? You don't look very good. Oh! Not take mirror! Well then... Say hello to the boss of the Snow Peak Ruins. Twilight Ice Mass Blizzetta. All right, this one's fairly simple. For the first phase, you just keep on hitting with the ball and chain, and every time it comes at you, just throw the ball and chain. And re you repeat this like five or six times, and eventually it'll be small enough for you to actually finish it off and move on to phase two. And apparently if you just stand still, it will not do that. Ow. Yeah, apparently uh, the first time it decides to throw those things at you, you can just stand still and none of them will hit you. All right, phase two. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, get ready for the actual hard part. Just gonna throw this up, break a couple of those, and then just run. Why did I take some time to do that? You'll see. All right, find out the opening. Roll away. And then just hit it. Then you gotta repeat this two more times. All right, I got one at least, that's good. You do not wanna slow down as much as possible. All right, I got two just to make sure I have a good opening. Roll, roll! All right, well at least I got some more so I can actually hit Blazetta when she comes back down. All right, there we are. Wait for these things to fall. Turn around, and hit. You cannot swing your, uh, you cannot hit her with a swing of it. You gotta actually throw the thing. And I forgot to hit one of those things while it was in the air. I got one at least, so I should have an opening. I hope. Find the opening. Roll. Hit, and done. Whew, that was close. I only got hit once during this entire boss fight. 
Yeah, all things considered, the boss is pretty damn easy. Alright, we got our mirror sh mirror piece, not shard. Well, I guess you could call it a shard. What dick takes a shard and a piece anyway? Well, we have two mirror shards now. Two more left, Link. Still, I feel bad about the way we treated that girl. To think the Mirror of Twilight has the power to change people like that. This world, all worlds, can be cruel. Let's hurry up and collect the rest of the pieces, Link. We have to, before more innocent creatures have to endure the suffering this poor girl did. Alright, good, she's still alive. Well, let's go search for the two that remain. Uh-oh. Oh! Ow. Oh, oh, what? What wrong? Oh, that's her speaking. Uh, uh, what? What wrong with me? Very strange. You just dreaming, huh? Yeto, mirror you gave. Forget mirror, Yeta. No, look into eyes of Yeto. Look in reflection of Yeto's eyes. Their true beauty. Who need mirror? My love, ah. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Also, this is the only time in hero mode where you will see heart, cont heart uh, recovery hearts. Just hearts like that. Also, here's the uh, heart container. So yeah, uh, the only place in the game that has uh, recovery hearts if you're in hero mode, and you can actually pick them up. So go on ahead and savor this moment. And if you talk, keep talking to them, they will keep making recovery hearts. So let's just go on ahead and leave those two be and get the hell out of here. I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we're done with uh, the Snow Peak Ruins. So next time we're going to see what we can do now that we have a ball and chain. Catch you later.